Well, I can tell you uh, a very good day training today. Nobody wowed me personally because I had expectations going in of the ones I had. A um, few little driver changes this morning. Yeah, I had a bad day. Mm. All right. I didn't win any either. You know, oh, somebody said the other day. Is so cranky? No, I'm not cranky. Somebody had said the other day, you know, talking about winning the sets. I'm joking. I go with the horses that I have to go with every time we train. And you see some of the horses that we've been working with come forward in a big way today. Um, Cadeau was good today. Who else? She sits in the bar. Has been fantastic since we started tinkering with her gear. Uh, Atronet was great today. And these are horses that have been consistently getting to this point. It wasn't. It doesn't happen overnight. You know, somebody said, "Oh, uh, uh, some of this horse looks rough, or that horse looks rough." To be had the vet look at them. These aren't race horses. There's not going to be, we're going to inject a knee and they're going to be great next week. That's not how this works. It's a process. It takes time. They don't get out of gear all in one week and they're not, it's not easy to fix them all in one week. So it's a process. It takes time. Uh, Jimboree uh, made a break today. No, she didn't. Did you not go with Jimboree? She ran on the last turn. Oh, yeah, she did. Wow. Are you? Are you okay today? Did you fall and hit your head? Yeah, she did run. Uh, I'll tell you a horse that really wowed me today was Rosetta. And this is a horse that I've been fielding emails on. Hey, what's wrong with Rosetta? She doesn't look like she likes her head pull. Of course she doesn't like her head pull. I don't care if she doesn't like her head pull. She's going to learn to wear it and behave herself. And today she was much, much better. Manhattan Money, a horse that everybody just kind of dismisses. This is a big, giant, good-looking colt. And one is set today and looked rather convincing doing it. Uh, we'll talk about all the horses in a minute, but I'm just going over some of the horses. Freedom Hill. Here's a horse that for a month, more than a month, just looked like a renegade. Just wanted to be bad and not do her work well. The last week and a half we've been going, I told you this would happen. I told you I've seen these wet the hills before, and I know exactly what most of their marches look like. Heavy lifting. And Freedom Hill we can back off with now. She was absolutely perfect today for Jason. Uh, Arrowhead Hanover was great again today. I don't know. Did, did you hear me? Yeah, I did. Oh, you heard me say it? Okay. Arrowhead Hanover. Um, I guess... This guy is like, what is this? Guy? The most impressive performances today, I guess... Now, we'll go over all of them. So, this is just off the off the cuff. Memento Mori was fantastic, and Rosetta was fantastic. Those were the two. And um, the Pace and Philly and Colt were, were fantastic also. But those are expected. Rosetta was the only surprise of the... Of the four horses I just mentioned, Rosetta was the only surprise. Uh, set six, Cadeau was much better again. Uh, and then the last set, Melisandre was good. Now, the last set, Amy had warmed up Melisandre and said she just was acting up and not doing her work right. And we switched. I went with her and she went with Felix. Felix made a break. It was not your fault. He's a very tricky horse and you don't know him. Um, he looked like he tried a good after. He made his break, did he not? Yeah, he ran again down the lane though. Oh, he did. I didn't yeah. see that part. Um, but when he had him on the front, he was doing his work well. Yeah, actually. He won a set the other day, and he is a nice horse, but he's not perfect. He has really, really sprouted up. Him and the filly you just walked by is enormous now. Uh, speed of sound. Mm -hmm. You're just going to have to wait. They're going through growth spurts. There's nothing we can do. There's no equipment we can change, shoeing we can change, some sort of magical shaman or vet we can send them to. It's Mother Nature. They're growing up. They're really sprouting up, and... Never Lose Felix has really almost sprouted up more than everybody until I saw a speed of sound. She looks like a giraffe now. No, she looks like a rhinoceros. No, she looks like a dinosaur. What's Which one? I'm a dinosaur. A long neck? She does have a long neck. She's just a giant horse right now. Very, very big for a two-year-old. And you really just got to turn the page and say, does this horse look lame? No. Does this horse look like it has something wrong with it? No. Well... Turn the page. You're going to have to wait. You're just going to put the work in and wait. So let's go through all the sets. Set one, I had uh, I had She Sits at the Bar, but uh, Amy was scoring down the priest, and he was acting up also. Actually, jumped on his foot. So I went with him. I think we may, ever, may get back to a point where the priest, at least for this half-mile track and smaller track racing, wears a set of trotting hobbles. He was trotting great, but in the last turn, this is where we lost him. His last two sets was coming out of that last three sets. Twice on you and once on Jason, I believe. Well, I've only trained him once. Oh, so once I knew what's on Jason. So he almost made a break on me today. Now, I saw it coming, and I just put him right in park until he caught back trotting, and away he went. But uh, it wasn't his attitude. I think he's just touching himself. 
we might just put the hobbles on them, take some of the weight off them up front, and let them just scoot along. Uh, but I was certainly not disappointed with him. She said to the bar, look great again today. Uh, horse said again, coming on strong. Um, a trant. I want to call her Atronet so Me bad. Too. A trant. Um, this is a horse that. Oh, there's a fire truck coming here. What do I do when I'm in this lane? Just stay, don't move. Well, I'm going to have to not move because there's traffic everywhere. I can't move. It is what it is. Um, but that filly there was making breaks and getting out of gear. And I'm sure, although Dr. Rucker never said a word, and he owns all... I think he sold 1% of the I'm not sure, mistaken. Um, did that light not just go yellow, red, and then right back to green? Am I... Yeah, but it seems to have confused. But did it not just do that? Yeah. Um... So I, Dr. Rucker had never said a word about the filly making breaks or getting out of gear. And we just at the end when the track was hard, we the corks on her. We got everything off her now. And she has been very, very strong her last three outings and ran down a pretty able filly. And she sits at the bar. So a great mile from her also. I don't play nice. You guys didn't see where he came from. I did afterwards. He came from last three wide down the back stretch and was only beat maybe a length and a quarter. He looked fantastic. Now I had the priest back and forth. Joey said Mountaineer Prince get out of gear. And I saw he's a great guy get out of gear. We're just going to go ahead and put the elbow boots on. He's a great guy. Uh, he Doctor, went very fast for that horse. Yeah. And Dr. Epson, Randy had asked me a couple of times. Him, Do you like him? Do you like him? I love him. But I know he's gonna need he's gonna need elbow boots, and I think we're just gonna go ahead and put them on him. I saw him getting out of gear in the last turn. It used to be like Tiger used to get in the last kid turn right before he ran. He just put a couple of steps in. Remember when he used to hit his elbow mm -hmm. and and just roll off. And uh, he's a great guy. I can almost guarantee you that is exactly <laughs> what took place. So an easy fix there. One up, one down, no issues in set one. Set two, uh, I went with Oh Hill. No, I was shocked how good she was. I was just gonna go out, actually, to be truthful, I told you guys, we didn't plan to video today. I had forgot to tell the actual video guy in Ohio that we weren't videoing. So when we got there late at 8.40, 8.30, he was already ready to go. He was just sitting up there sipping on a coffee with the camera on. So we decided to go. Well, I wasn't planning on videoing Oh Hill No and those horses that were just coming back for the first time. Oh Hill No, I went out and she ran all over the track took the boots off her, put an extra set of bell boots on her, went out, and I'm like, maybe I can keep her together. She was awesome. Just, and I tell you guys all the time, just those subtle little tiny things. All we did was take a set of trotting boots off her behind and add one set of bell boots up front, and she went from not being able to function to trotting mile in 232, last half of 13, after not training for two weeks. She was very... Nah, I think we scooted her a little bit in between, but she was she was exceptionally good today. Um, Aunt Lily was at, at uh, Ollie. Stop. Aunt Lily was a little flat today, but as I said, Amy, I don't care about that because when I had her real good and she was on her toes and she was just annihilating everybody she was in with, she was also pretty warm, pretty hot. I already know how good Aunt Lily is, and a little bit of snot coming out of one nose. I meant to tell you that. Oh, me and him. Yeah, might have been a little bit sick. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, um, not worried about her at all. Manhattan Money won that set and looked very, very good doing it. Speed of sound looked good also. Baby set in the sale. There's already been a bit on her, so there's no need to talk about her. She got pacey and made a break today. But that's kind of been par for the course, right? What happened with what a lady, what a night? I did not. Oh, I don't know. I didn't talk to Joey, and he didn't tell me anything. So she must have been okay, but I never really got an update on her. Set three, we went out. Arrowhead Hanover was great. If I had to come 100 when I did, and I, I was coming quick, but if I had to just cut him loose, I would have cleared Jason and been gone. But I didn't want to go that fast. So as I got to Jason, I realized we really picked up speed. I just kind of sat outside of him and idled down the lane and then looked right, and here came Rosetta, right by us at the wire, and she looked uh, exceptionally good. I was really, really happy with the way, um, with the way Rosetta looked. Very, very happy with... Uh, Arrowhead Hanover, and as I said, I would say one of the three big, uh, one of the three horses that really impressed me the most today, as far as coming forward, was Freedom Hill. She looked fantastic, also, and Leggy was just off the top three. Uh, Jim Bree had made; uh, she'd been great for a while, and made a very what I would call an uncharacteristic break today. And High High Helps made one of the far turn. It was tough, you know. Again. Had I known that we were going to video today, Joey's not really, he doesn't know high, high hopes. I may have made another set of four or five horses um, and maybe kept her away because I, 
I was concerned when we went out. You know, Joey doesn't know her. If she gets in a little bit, she makes a break. Jason has a pretty good rapport with this filly now, uh, Merriman, but he's not here today, as you noticed. So uh, Joey ended up going with the going with the filly, and she made a break. Anyway, she hasn't been breaking, and I don't foresee any reason to push any sort of panic button when it comes to uh, when it comes to high high hopes. She's been very very good of late. Uh, set four and out. Green glitter was great but I found her a little flat towards the end of the mile. Now, she was trotting hard in the last turn. They can't go forever, the babies. A little flat finishing up her mile, a little pacey, but she didn't offer to make a break today, and she was well-behaved. So um, I think it's one of those just, just a day for her. She did her work, and take nothing away from the horse that run me down. Momento Mori is an absolute beast of an animal, and he came flying by me at the wire. He literally looked like an aged horse. Um, Green Glitter was good. Dancing by myself, very happy with him. The horse that I liked the most today out of everybody, out of those horses, because of the poise uh, and ten tenacity she showed was, was Grand Slime Dio. She wasn't 100% today. There was something biting at her a little bit, left front and left hind. We've seen this before with her. The last time, we didn't train her for two weeks, and then she came out and went one of the best miles she'd ever gone after that. So I said to Eric, maybe we will just just pop the clutch a little bit. We're just gonna we're just gonna put her in neutral for um, put her in neutral for a week. No training on Tuesday, and then we'll reassess her throughout the rest of the week. There's no concerns. I'm not worried about it being lameness. But again, we're going to do everything we can to keep them away from that point, right? We don't want to get to a point where we're like, what's wrong with this filly? She wasn't 100% today. She need to be shod. Does she need to get the cork off? You know, did she roll in the stall? Did she hit herself in the mile? I don't know. But I knew going into the mile, even Eric had said to me, she warmed up a little bit more on the left line, right shaft. Uh, but man, when he called on her first over, all business right through the wire, and that is the sign of a, of a racehorse for sure. A horse that's going to push through and not look for excuses. And she had excuses today. She wasn't She wasn't bad. You go back and watch the video, you may not have even noticed. But I noticed in the warm-up, and so did Eric, that she just wasn't as good as she's been. But, man, she was still very, very good today. And Bluebird Tuxedo Hill, you worried he, he fell away from the field a little bit. Now, we've been keeping him very quiet. I'll be completely honest with everybody. Bluebird Tuxedo Hill, take the flip-flops off, put a set of 916s on them, uh, take that ear hood off, and I guarantee you it's a totally different horse. But some of these horses that do it right right now, when you're going in 225 to 235 in March, there's no need to do any more, right? Just put the work in. Put the work in, and then we need to tramp in the accelerator in a month's time, fine. If we need to change, make changes, we can. But if you put that work in and the horse's talent to begin with, it will show up when you ask them for it right? Unless they're just not as good as you really think they are. And I think Bluebird Tuxedo Hill, one, he's bred very well. Two, he's got a good attitude. And three, he's already shown us that he's fast. So I really don't have that much of a concern when it comes to Bluebird Tuxedo Hill. We went out with the Pacers next. Rosa and AJ, again, very fast. I thought you'd come back and beat him, but you didn't. Die. Now you get beat about that much. Yeah, no, I saw but, he made sure to show me. <laughs> but uh, Rosa and AJ, uh, you know, the only issue with Rose Run AJ is it's zero to 60 with him. There's no dawdling, right? Jason said he was quietly following, behaving himself. He was behind Daryl. Daryl said he never made a noise. He said, I just moved him over. And as soon as I did, it was just full acceleration. And he said, you know, if I had a seesaw him, I could have just sat. And he said, but I just decided to just come with him and clear off the lead. And he certainly did. Uh, and ended up hanging on to beat Rose Run Alexandra, who again, these two pacers have just been top of the food chain for us especially since uh, Captain's gone now uh, in Florida for a bit. Um, the other horses were good, but there is a separation, right? Fire and Shine, nice filly, does her work well. Blue Venture, a big, strong colt, looked good today. Gorgeous Package was good. Eric said a little choppy in the last turn when you guys really stepped on it. But again, those splints just bothering her, and she did her work. And Foxy Seaside, again, I think Joey... Joey was just concerned that he was going to get her in a bad place and ended up in her worst place, which was last. No, which was last trying to follow speed. So I'm not worried. Foxy did her work well and was good. So again, as you can see, not many concerns as we head through the rest of the day. Country dancing, I, I was a little disappointed in her today. I put a snake cord on her in a hood. So obviously she's going to go from grabby to quiet. And she's very polite Philly. But I did notice her still a little self-conscious in the turns. Dr. Latessa looked at her, thought her right stifle was a little weak. Uh, so we're going to continue to Baycox her. He's going to iodine that stifle. Get all the winter cork off her. Again, we'll put a, maybe put a little set of, and, and, and Dr. Latessa, obviously, either was talking to somebody or knows. Because he said maybe some trailers or a square toe on her. It both would do fine behind. Um, 
are they going to be the difference between her being almost good and really good? I don't know. But again, this is a, uh, as I keep saying, it's a process. And uh, what I did float the idea of is if, if I believe that some of this self-consciousness from this filly is coming from the half mile track, then I'll just move her over to the meadows and Tim can finish her off with his sets because she, she does everything perfect. Now it's just getting her comfortable and getting her rocking along. And, and I certainly don't have any problem with that. But we'll see how it plays out for right now. Country dancing, adequate, but not where I want her to be. So there's going to be a lot of work. And it's it has nothing. She is the best attitude and work ethic of maybe anybody in the barn. Just a beautiful filly in that regard. So it, it's not about heavy lifting or, or anything like that. It is about polishing. A different kind of po Ollie. A different kind of polishing uh, is what is what this filly needs. Cado, you can see the work that we did with Cado this Cado this week. The horse looked totally different. Uh, West Warrior, I know he's a little chippy, a little rough around the edges, but it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. Uh, Allie's got. You need to go with him. I can. I'll go with him. There's I don't lots like of time. the way he's hung up, but I don't know. What He'll else be to fine. Do. He'll be fine. I think it is behind. I think it has a lot it to is. do. No, but I think it has a lot to do. Can he not wear a gating pole? Yeah, but why does he need a gating pole? I have no idea. Well, he'll be fine. He'll be just fine. Uh, Allie's got grit, was better today, but did make a break after the wire and the turn when he gets a little claustrophobic. The problem with him is he, he did get claustrophobic and did make a break, but he, at some point, I'm not going to make excuses for Allie. He's got to get his stuff together. It's not that he's doing his work bad. He's a fast colt. But he needs to start paying attention. And the only way to make him do that, again, more work. But you can't give him too much work. So, again, another horse that kind of fits in that box. You're going to work a little harder than the other horses. But how much is the question? Pelican Owl was good. Eric said he's still right line a little bit and running in down the lane. I'm almost certain it's just that foot from how many times he pulled that shoe off and jumped on his foot. But... Uh, there are some diagnostic procedures we can do to figure that out. We can easily, we've had him x-rayed, there's nothing found, right? So what we can do is block his foot, train him with a foot block in, and you don't want to do that if there's something lingering in there, but I don't think there is. I think we're talking about bruising or corns or something of that nature. We can block his foot. Uh, if he comes good, then you know you're in the right place. And then after that, you can block his knee. Same thing. If you if he comes good, you know he's in the right place. I am of the belief that I don't think either of those blocks will show a whole lot. I think it's partially his gait and partially just his foot bothering him a little bit. So mechanics and some minor ailments, um, which I don't think will be cleaned up medically overnight. So we will do that though. We will run the diagnostics on him this week. Um, the horse still has speed. You know, do I think he has to get better? Absolutely. I think there's a huge, uh, a, a vast amount of room for improvement, but we are going to work on it. And Southwind Idex, I just told Jason, you can not gap with this horse. You have to put him on a helmet and keep him there until you're about to use him. He can't sit back at three quarters of a length or half a length. He has to be glued to a helmet on his toes and ready to attack at all times. And he said he was good, followed, did his work well, but I just know the difference between how he's been training and how he was today was just that, that slight difference. And then the seventh set we went out and obviously Amy and I traded Never Lose Felix. She made a break. Uh, he made a break on her. It's just very difficult until you know him. And even I, I trained him three or four times. I got a pretty good feel for him now. The biggest problem with Felix is he's growing up. Physically, he's still immature, runs in, lays on a head pole a little bit, gets out of gear, but then folds up very easily. So a little bit of a coward sometimes, but that's okay. As he gets stronger and quicker, I hope that that will dissipate. Uh, I wasn't disappointed with him today. When he was trotting, he looked good. When he made a break, obviously you can see we have stuff to work on with him. Dancing in my socks. Now that somebody asked me, is, is this horse any good? Is he, does he have any talent? Look good today. Look really good today. He actually won that set. I did not win it with Melisandre. I didn't get there with her. And I don't even know if I beat Cadeau for second. He should win. Well, he's a pacer, pacer but still. He looked, he looked good today. I was very happy with him. Wander Hill was better. Baby steps with Wander Hill. He's got a great attitude and a very likable horse. Has made a lot of breaks. But baby steps with Wander Hill. He's coming. LT Troubadour look good. Uh, very, very good. I was wrong. Who went with... That wasn't Cadot. That was I'm Ready too. That beat me for second. No. Yeah, I, I thought it was him. I, don't, I just noticed the name. I'm Ready too. looked very, very good today. So, oh, he'll know, and I'm Ready too. two of the three horses we backed off with. I'm a trucker's the other one. He's jogging good. 
Uh, we'll probably start training him a little bit again on Tuesday. But those two horses, you see the difference. Just had to back off with them. They were a little bit pinchy, not quite right, and both of them were fantastic today. I'm ready too. Jeez, he was really good. LT Troubadour was good also. Wander Hill was adequate. Dancing with my socks was great. And Melisandre was actually good. A little flatter than I thought finishing up her mile, but still coming to them and really showed that desire to get her work done. So I wasn't disappointed with Melisandre. You were after the mile, or no. you were when you went with her? I was when I went. Well, I think the problem is maybe she knows who Amy when is. When she goes she, the wrong I think she knows who Amy is and who, who I am. It's no, but she, when she goes <laughs> the wrong way around the track, yeah. she looks perfect. As yeah. soon as you turn her to go the right way, uh-huh. Oh, because my card. I had to change the oh, number. Yeah. Here, just go up and change that. No, you did it right there. I know. I Can you go and do it, please? I'm finishing my video. Thank you. If you could put a smile on when you're doing it, that'd be great. Just a little smile. Even a fake smile. What do you think? No? Don't think it's going to happen. Um, so, Melisandre, I know what Amy's saying. She, but truthfully speaking, I joke about it, but I think she does know. A lot of horses do know when you're sitting behind them and it's go time. Ollie? What is it? It's not, it's not turning down. I'm going to take your phone from you if you can't stop doing that. So, um, very, very happy with that set. I'm ready too. Really wild being. Jeez, I don't know why I thought that was Kenobi. Where's Hobbles? The other guy doesn't. I just saw Joey on him and he was kind of in my periphery. And I was focused when I went on the track on Never Lose Felix. And then uh, focused more in the mile on Melisandre. I just, I don't know why I was, was confused. But I'm ready too. Look great. LT Troubadour was good. Uh, Wander Hill, very happy with Wander. As I said, baby steps. Um, Melisandre, very good, and uh, and never lose Felix. Made a break, but as I said, it's not Amy's fault and it's not the horse's fault. Very, very tricky horse, and it was a big ask. I knew we were in trouble when we switched, but I do want to make sure that Melisandre's going well and, and her mechanics are good, which I thought they were in the mile. So truthfully speaking, a good day, a very good day at the office. The standouts, the horse that had been good, continue to be good. My three biggest takeaways from the day, three that really wowed me the most, uh, Atrant was impressive. Uh, Manhattan Money, so it's going to be more than three. I'm going to give you a few. Manhattan Money, oh, hell no, was incredibly good considering the work she's had put into her. Uh, Rosetta, uh, Rosetta was very, very good also. Um, Arrowhead Hanover, Freedom Hill, that whole set was pretty good. Those three in particular I was very imp impressed with. Uh, Rose and AJ and Alexandra continue to be good. Uh, Cadeau was very good. And then in the last set, uh, I'm ready too. Wow, really happy with him. Dancing in my socks was good. And uh, Alessandra was good also. So that were what was our day in a nutshell. Yes, we're at the car wash right now. Thank you for doing that, by the oh, way. Hey, no, what do you want me to do? Uh, thank you for doing that, by the way. That fixed it. Uh, so our day is done now. We just have uh, Steel Cowboy tonight. I'm not super optimistic about our chances, but I would like to see a good mile from him. He is in the sale on Monday. As I said, we're going to continue to move out all the horses that either are not being effective or horses that I just don't think are in the right place or will be effective in the future. Listen, we have a giant stable. There's going to be lots of those, right? It is spring training, and we are about to make some more cuts as we head into what will be our regular season. Take care.